Is Bromantan one of the most effective nootropics on the market? Or is it a drug and as such should be avoided? Well, my team and I have thoroughly reviewed Bromantan and in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about it. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. If biohacking, nootropics and optimizing brain performance interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we are going to talk about Brahman 10, a psychostimulant that is sold on the market under the brand name Ladistan. We're going to talk about its benefits, effects, potential side effects, risks, legal status, and at the end, I'm going to tell you if you should consider supplementing it or not. By the way, guys, have you ever tried Brahman 10? If yes, did you like its effects? Let me know in the comment section below. So what exactly is Brahman 10? Now, for those who are unfamiliar with this compound, Brahman 10 is an anxiolytic drug used in Russia for helping people with nerve disorder. Now, why would anyone consider such a drug an entropic? Well, because of its potential effects on the dopaminergic and serotonergic neurotransmitter systems. Now, Brahman 10 seems to work like an adaptogen and a stimulant in one thing, but its exact mechanism of action is still unknown. Now, before we talk about the potential risks and optimal dosage, let's check out the potential benefits you can expect from Brahman 10. First, Brahman 10 may improve physical and mental performance, so it is considered a performance-enhancing drug, and hence banned by WADA. Secondly, it works as a mild psychostimulant and anxiolytic. Thirdly, studies in animals show that Brahman 10 may decrease depression and may be used as an antidepressant. It may also increase your libido and potentially help with longevity. Lastly, a large-scale clinical trial of 728 patients diagnosed with asthenia showed that Brahman 10 is very effective at treating this nerve disorder. Now, what's really interesting is that the positive effects have been seen even after a month after people stopped taking the drug. But to get those benefits and to avoid the potential side effects, you need to take the right dosage of Bromantan. Now, before we talk about that, let's talk about the safety of Bromantan and its complicated legal status. By the way, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go through our free brain assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics. Now, as it currently stands, Bromantan is a drug that is not approved by FDA. So this means it's not really a nootropic, but just a simple drug. But that doesn't mean you should completely avoid it, right? Well, unlike other psychostimulants, Bromantan has almost no side effects, does not produce tolerance, does not show withdrawal symptoms after you stop taking it, and it doesn't seem to be addictive. What's even more, the effects last for up to a month after people stop taking it, which does sound more like a nootropic than a drug. But here's the problem. We lack long-term studies on a healthy population. There are almost no quality studies on Bromantan on people, and those that are available have been done on people with specific disorders. This means that if you are a healthy individual who is searching for a performance-enhancing nootropics that have been well-studied and are safe for long-term supplementation, Bromantan should probably not be on your list. The other big problem is that the exact mechanism of action is not understood, meaning we don't really know how does Bromantan really work. Hence, we don't know if it's really safe or not. Yes, well, we know that Bromantan does enhance the dopaminergic neurotransmission in various parts of the brain, and it does that differently than other psychostimulants. That's why it seems to be safer than Adderall or Ritalin. But without quality long-term studies on a healthy population, supplementing Bromantan seems rather risky. But this short study on 10 volunteers showed that Bromantan improved productivity, vigilance, and moral performance, which shows some of the potential of Bromantan. But how exactly does Bromantan make you feel? By the way, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Well, I've talked to a few experts who have been supplementing Bromantan and they said Bromantan makes you slightly more calm, motivated, and it improves your mood. One said that it reduced his anxiety, and the other said it even boosted his energy. Now, I also found a comment of a person with ADHD claiming that Bromantan helped him reduce ADHD symptoms, but that just based on a subjective claim from one person. So to me, this sounds like a typical adaptogen. 
something like rhodiola rosea or even ashwagandha. By the way, if you want to learn more about those adaptogens, watch my video up here. Now, before the final verdict, if you'd like to experiment with Bromantin, what would be the optimal dosage? Well, as it currently stands, there is no official dosing information available about Bromantin. However, based on the available data, many recommend supplementing a dosage of 50 to 100 mg daily for a short period. Now, you should definitely not take more than 3000 mg per day because users report side effects at such a high dosage. Now, the most common side effects are vomiting, diarrhea, and increased urination. By the way, I just have to pee. I'm gonna be right back. Now, keep in mind, Bromantan stays in the body for up to two weeks, so you may need to cycle it. But again, we don't have any information about the optimal cycle period. Because Bromantan is an insufficiently researched substance, its safety profile is unknown. So, if you'd like to test it, you should first consult your doctor. Now, what's also interesting is that Bromantan is not on the list of nootropics from the famous Reddit study, which means that the Reddit community didn't perceive it as a nootropic when the survey or the study was conducted. So, to my verdict, is Bromantan a nootropic or not? And should you supplement it? Well, based on the available data, Bromantan is a synthetic psychostimulant and a drug not approved by FDA and WADA, and hence should not be seen as a nootropic. Its potential benefits seem promising, but due to the lack of studies on a healthy population and its complicated legal status, I wouldn't recommend Bromantin. Now, luckily, there are equally effective, safe, and natural alternatives on the market. So if you want to stimulate your brain, watch my next video up here, in which I share the most effective and safe nootropics on the market. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.